I must admit, I was pretty surprised no one has been talking about this particular drug that has been banned by WADA because of its energizing effects and its aerobic performance improving properties. What's up guys, my name is Lucas, the founder of Ergogenic Health, and my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So in today's video, what we'll do is take a look at the molecule known as ICAR, not to be confused with ALCAR, which is acetyl L-carnitine. In this video, what I'll do is break down how ICAR may potentially improve aerobic performance, energy levels, and vitality. But first of all, let's break down what is ICAR, which is spelled A-I-C-A-R. Well, ICAR is short for 5 amino imidazole 4 carboxamide ribonucleotide. And in fact, it's a substance that is produced naturally by the body that is known to stimulate AMP activated protein kinase or AMPK. Now, many of you have probably heard of AMPK in the context of improving longevity um, for its anti aging properties. It's actually activated during periods of fasting. Now, in fact, AMPK is a protein that regulates metabolism in a variety of ways. AMPK actually acts as an energy regulator and is activated during exercise or other circumstances that use up cellular energy. So basically we can look at AMPK as a regulatory sensor that basically senses the energy availability in the body. Now the AMPK stimulating ICAR, which is what we're gonna look at today is in fact, able to be synthesized in a lab and is being evaluated in preclinical research and animal and human clinical trials as a therapeutic agent to treat certain metabolic disorders in humans. Now, I personally consider this substance to be similar to the other mitochondrial enhancers like methylene blue, coenzyme Q10, D-ribose, acetyl L-carnitine itself, and also creatine. So for me, I would cluster this ICAR in the same sort of category the same sort of family as all these other mitochondrial enhancers. So you may be wondering, how does ICAR actually work? Well, once AMPK is activated by ICAR, it works to make energy more readily available by the body. Now, for example, it increases the usage of fat for energy and causes cells to make more mitochondria, which is essentially the powerhouses of our cells. And AMPK basically ensures that the various tissues in the body don't run out of energy. Now, there are many circumstances that activate AMPK naturally, as I alluded to previously, including hypoxia, which is low oxygen levels during exercise or at elevation, hypoglycemia or low blood sugar with exercise or fasting, the use of cellular energy during muscle contraction, and anything that disrupts energy creation within cells. Now, the effects of activating AMPK are extremely complex since it actually involves so many different metabolic pathways downstream in the body. Now, to date, the medical community has not found a way to target AMPK in a way that allows for the treatment of diseases in humans, although research has suggested it plays role or plays a critical role in diabetes, heart disease, and also cancer. So one of the mechanisms by which ICAR works to improve performance is actually looking at its ability to increase and modulate adenosine levels. Now we can see here, the first study of the safety and tolerance of ICAR was actually done in 1991, much before the recognition of ICAR as an AMPK agonist to establish pharmacokinetics of a drug that raised, raised interest as a novel adenosine regulating agent. Adenosine is actually a potent vasodilator that plays a key role in reducing ischemia or reperfusion injury, but the applications for systemic adenosine are limited owing to a peripheral hemodynamic actions. So interestingly, ICAR actually shares structural similarities with adenosine, and therefore it can increase the extracellular concentrations of adenosine by competing for the nucleoside transporter. In addition, ICAR actually increases intracellular concentrations by inhibiting adenosine deaminase and increasing the production of adenosine rather than inosine from ATP catabolism. Now, interestingly, what we've seen is that ICAR is highly protective against heart conditions and post-schemic recovery. And also we've seen that ICAR can reduce early cardiac death, myocardial infarction, and combined adverse cardiovascular outcomes. So why is ICAR banned by WADA? Well, ICAR is banned and is prohibited because it's an AMPK activator, which are prohibited at all times under the category of hormone and metabolic modulators of the on the WADA prohibited list. 
because of their potential performance enhancing effects. Now, interestingly, in 2009, the French anti-doping agency suspected that Alcar, well, Icar, sorry, has been used in the Tour de France for its supposed performance enhancing properties. So we can see that Icar was actually deployed in 2009 in the Tour de France for cyclists to improve their aerobic performance and their ability to tolerate exercise during hypoxia or low oxygen conditions. Now, as of January 2011, ICAR was officially a banned substance in the World Anti-Doping Code, and the standard levels in elite athletes have been determined to interpret test results. Now, interestingly, ICAR has been shown to increase blood flow um, in human aortic endothelial cells. ICAR was able to stimulate AMK activity and also nitric oxide production, and the effects were proved to be AMK dependent since the effects were actually inhibited by the expression of a dominant negative AMK mutant. So we can see here that potentially one of its performance enhancing properties is by stimulating nitric oxide production and therefore leading to better blood flow, circulation, and perhaps even better pumps during exercise. This study here is looking at how ICAR can enhance mitochondrial function. Um, we can see that uh, there's increasing focus nowadays for different modalities to improve mitochondrial function. We know that cold exposure can do it. We know that um, certain herbs and supplements can activate um, brown adipose tissue and support mitochondrial function. Looking at this study here, they examined the AMK activity in young and old rats and found that acute stimulation of AMK alpha-2 activity by ICAR and exercise was blunted in skeletal muscles of old rats, suggesting that reductions in AMK activity may be an important contributing factor in aging associated reductions in mitochondrial biogenesis and dysregulated lipid metabolism. However, 500 milligrams per kilogram of ICAR has beneficial effects on cognition and motor coordination in both young and old mice. And these effects were absent in the muscle specific mutated AMK alpha 2 subunit, providing support for a muscle mediated mechanism. So interestingly, it improved aerobic running capacity and mitochondrial function in aged myostatin knockout mice. In a mouse model of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, ICAR treatment enhanced the effects of exercise and improved muscle function, probably by stimulating autophagy. Looking at some further or promising research, this study here was titled Acadecine, or Acadecine, which is ICAR, um, an adenosine regulating agent with the potential for widespread indications. Um, looking here, basically what they're mentioning is how this particular molecule has been shown to hold potential application for uh, glucose intolerance, insulin resistance, and type one and type two diabetes. However, the poor oral bioavailability of this particular molecule was actually one of the major drawbacks with its uh, further development and further research. So as far as dosages, unfortunately, the bioavailability appears to be a major issue with current oral preparations. However, if we can find ways to enhance bioavailability from oral usage, I suspect a dosage of 20 to 30 milligrams per day would be best and would be utilizing this before exercise and or aerobic activities as we know that this molecule may enhance um, you know, athletic performance, aerobic conditioning, and also tolerate hypoxia. Um, so again, as far as the dosages, there's a small number of people who've used this particular molecule before aerobic events and they've noted benefits in terms of improving endurance capacity, improving energy levels. Um, so you will be seeing a link to purchase ICAR in the video description down below if you want to look at it um, and potentially apply it for your athletic performance endeavors. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something new. Be sure to check out all the other amazing videos on my channel. I cover a wide ranging of, a wide range of performance enhancing compounds. Um, but otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.